Imagine having no control over the biggest day of your life. Your wedding day. This is ridiculous. Or worse, that all control has been given to your mother. Or even more outrageous, your mother-in-law. This is a disaster. This is Gina Sole, wedding planner extraordinaire. I love it, I love it. She creates stunning weddings for her clients. I need 500 by Friday. Her standards are high. And she demands and gets the best for her client's big day. You gonna mug me? I might get a mug It's that gorgeous award, eh? And I believe I can run the Peace and Marathon. Download Veely now. Meet Ashley and Andrew. They have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand full control of your wedding day to one of your mothers. That's stressful. I like things done my way. If I put my mind to something and that's what I want, that's what I'm getting. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Christine, you just want not, a big no, fancy no, wedding. You're being totally useless. That's it. Oh, go. May the best mom win. Ashley and Andrew are all kisses and love. We've been together for six years. Ashley is loving, caring. She mm -hmm. wants to be snuggled. She's wonderful. She's everything. What I love about Andrew is he's very sweet, even though he doesn't show it. <laughs> you want some couscous? No. I can make some garlic bread. No. Oh, God. Did you want to make me some chicken? <laughs> yes, I'll make you some chicken. Of course. <laughs> we met at a friend's house. I didn't like him. I thought he was really rude and offensive. <laughs> Second time we met, she couldn't resist me. <laughs> it was a lot different than the first time. <laughs> Loved her ever since. But they can't seem to actually make it down the aisle. Been engaged for three years, and we've postponed the wedding three times. First time, we had to move. Second time was the baby. And the third time was when I was about six months pregnant, my brother passed away, so we postponed it for that as well. I wanted both my brothers to walk me down the aisle, but I just really miss him. Wedding planning is getting stale the fourth time around. This wedding stuff, I'm still pretty concerned. Huh. It's been really hard to plan the wedding because Andrew's really busy. He's working two jobs. So when he comes home, he's very tired. I don't really get much of a chance between cooking and cleaning and taking care of Cade. Hey, watch your claws. You have a 24-hour job. She's the greatest mom in the world. I gotta get ready for work. Here you go, go see mama. This busy couple needs professional help to make sure they actually get down the aisle. I'm here to meet with Ashley and Andrew. They'll have to agree to my terms if they want this wedding to happen. This will be your dream come true. We've postponed it enough times, so it'll be good to finally be married. But there is one condition. You have to hand full control of your wedding day, the location, the menu, the decor, to one of your mothers. <laughs> what? We don't have any say at all. You can choose which mother. One mom will plan her perfect vision of a wedding day for you. Ouch. They even picked your dress. The dress? The dress. I don't know how I feel about this. I think it's great. Less work I have to do. I don't know that I'm OK with that. <laughs> Come on. No stress. You don't have to worry it's about... It's a matter of opinion, no stress. <laughs> I don't get to pick anything that's stressful. My oh. own dress. Don't you want to be my wife? <laughs> you cannot play that card. <laughs> it's been played. So, Andrew and Ashley, are you on board? I'm on board. I guess I am too. Great! <laughs> well, let's go get you married. Now it's out of their hands, it's in the mom's hands, and we're just gonna have to see what happens. Bring on the moms. Ashley's mom, Kim, loves to shop, decorate, and is always on the go. I am assertive, outgoing, <laughs> social. Cheers. Tell us more, tell us more. <laughs> I am creative. I have an eye for design, and I love color. I like everything in order. And I like things done my way. If you put a vase there, I'll probably pick it up and move it over there. I'm very picky. <laughs> she likes to get her own way. She's a little bit bossy at times. Kim is pushy. She can be kind of a bulldozer. I know how I want things, and I would like people to do it that way. 
Andrew's mom, Christine, is traditional, crafty, and likes to stick close to home. I like to spend time with my family. <laughs> I like sewing, baking, and spend time taking my dogs for walks. Porky, come on. Good girl. I'm traditional and just like the simple things in life. Mm, they smell good. My mom, she's old-fashioned. Quiet, keeps to herself. I don't like going out much. She's a homebody. I'm pretty laid back, but I do have a temper. My mom's very strong in her beliefs. No, that one's got to go up different. Fine, then. If I put my mind to something and that's what I want, that's what I'm getting. It's the Irish coming out of me. The mothers are not exactly on the same page. Christine and I are very different. We're night and day. Kim is high maintenance. Christine's a little bit more plain and traditional. Kim is very go, go, go busy. Hi, how are you? Tomorrow at 3 o'clock. She's a little bit more country and comfortable, and I'm a bit more modern and sophisticated. But what matters now is the big day. I would like it to be fancy and just a lot of nice decorations. Definitely have some drinks and have a good time. Not too many drinks. <laughs> Apparently not too many drinks. Fire and ice. Fairy tale, princess, old fashioned. Modern. Pastel colors. Jewel tones, things that are nice and bright. Yellow in the mint and some pink in there. Food, I don't want anything plain and simple. I want something elegant. Nothing too fancy. Being a cook, the food is very important. Prime rib would be good. Ashley's dress. I think would be beautiful, form-fitting on the top and flowing out. Very elegant, nothing really frilly. This skirt should be nice and round and poofy on the bottom. Nothing poofy. Ashley she'll look like a princess because that's what every little girl dreams about doing and having for their special day. With all these ideas flying around, Gina gets everyone together to lay down the rules. Here's the challenge. Over the next two days, I want each mom to plan their ideal vision of the wedding for the bride and groom. Now, they'll only pick one mother's vision. Oh. <laughs> and here's the hitch. The losing mom has to assist the winning mom with planning the entire wedding day. Oh, my. <laughs> what? Mm. You will be working for me. No, no. <laughs> Try again. How are you feeling about this, Ashley? Very nervous. I would like to still remain one family at the end. I just hope there's going to be a doctor in the house. No bloodshed, hopefully. Keep it a clean fight. So what do you say, gang? Are we on board? <laughs> <laughs> All right. May the best mom win. Thank you. Thank you. The moms seem to be having a little quiet cat fight today already. I think we may have a little problem on our hands. Kim? I'm coming after you, and you're going to be my bitch. Christine, you better bring your game, because I'm going to win, and I'm going to work you hard. Coming up with a wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever vision Ashley and Andrew choose, they're going to have to live with this decision for the rest of their lives. Flowers, bows, glass slippers. Make her feel like a princess for the day. Rich jewel tones, beautiful. What worries me about my mom planning the wedding is it just being completely over the top, flamboyant. Oh, I love peacock feathers. I can do so much with these. Perfect. Good luck, Christine. You're going to need it. White and pink, princess colors. Christine would more like something very old fashioned, a little bit drab. Ah, uh, tool, yes. I'm afraid that when she hears me say that, she might take me out. It'll never go back in the package now. I've seen mom's temper. Don't, don't make her mad. Christine and Kim seem to live on two different ends of the spectrum. I have absolutely no idea what I'm about to see. So sit down and tell me. I see like a fairy tale wedding. Princess, the prince. Sure. My vision, fire and ice. Outside it's cold, inside it's warm. Pastel colors are nice and soft. Purples and the soft pinks. They speak volumes with the wedding. Bright, sparkly colors, jewel tones, peacock feathers, emerald green, sapphires. Beautiful. Every princess needs glass slippers. And then we have a little diamond for sparkle. Of course, her tiara, her beautiful tiara. Every girl likes a good crown. Oh, yes. For the fairy tale, it's like a gazebo 
we can use this, you know, as inspiration, bringing a trellis into the ballroom. That would be nice. And I found this vase to represent ice. It's like a glacier. Mm-hmm. For the bride's cake top. Ashley pulling Andrew to the altar. Poor guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this would kind of reflect icicles when the candles were on them. OK. And instead of a guest book, a picture of Andrew and Ashley, the guests assigned the matting as a keepsake. And I brought some pictures. I lost my son in December. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time with this today. Oh, take your time. And the closer the wedding gets, the worse it's getting. Sure, that's understandable. She could put a picture in her bouquet. And that would make her feel like her brother was with her. And we'll, we'll make this work. We, we will. Oh, thank you. Now it's my job to edit things, and then we'll put the best possible presentation together for Ashley and Andrew. That will be great. I don't know if Ashley and Andrew are going to like either vision. They both need a lot of refining to sort of kick it up a notch. Kim has to be very afraid. Bring it, Christine. Bring it. Ashley and Andrew prepare to judge their mother's wedding visions. How are you doing, guys? Really nervous. You look a little nervous. A little jittery. <laughs> what the couple don't know is that both their mothers are watching and listening from a secret hiding place. Behind these two screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. Now you two have to decide which one best represents you. Oh man, I hope they're not mad, whoever doesn't get picked. Are you ready to see what your wedding day could be? Definitely ready. Well, let's remove the first screen. Okay. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. This theme is a fairy tale wedding, mm -hmm. a wedding fit for a princess. Yeah. Very, very pastel-y, lots of pink. They're not looking too impressed. Andrew doesn't do pink. <laughs> Even when they call it salmon, yeah. it's still pink. It's a good thing I love them, because otherwise I could disown them now. <laughs> Rather than a guest oh, book, nice. you would have a sign-in board. That's really cute glass slippers here that we could fill with some mints. Ashley, you would definitely be in a tiara. Okay. And a veil. And a very, very princess-inspired gown. I don't really think of myself as the princess type, so. Oh, you are. <laughs> are those wings or shoulder pads? Sort of like a shrug, a fur cover. Mm. That would actually be really okay. pretty. We would, of course, honor Adam. He would certainly be part of your day. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be important, definitely. I'm sure. Are you ready to see the next presentation? Definitely. Absolutely. Wow, they're so different. The theme is fire and ice. Bring the warmth inside because it's going to be so cold mm -hmm. outside. The mood, sophisticated, elegant, I'm a little in awe right now. Good or I'm not sure yet. I think that they're going to pick mine. I love peacock feathers, so that's exciting. Let's we'll see. Ashley, we have your gown. Less poof and just following your silhouette. The bodice would be decorated in crystals. Lots of bling. That on would the be bodice. beautiful. I don't like the centerpiece. Giant twigs. Wow, those are intense. I'm afraid I would get her to poke an eye out or something. Have to get married wearing an eye patch. <laughs> I don't think Andrew's very impressed with anything. We would have a memoriam set up for Adam with both visions, something that would be very special to you, I know. Mm-hmm, definitely. You guys have a lot to talk about. Big time. I'm going to leave you here, discuss, take a look at things, and when I get back, I'll get your decision. All, All right. right. All right, good luck. Oh, man. Mm. Kim and Christine can no longer eavesdrop, while Ashley and Andrew decide whose mom will be the winner. How long are we going to have to wait? This is almost maybe too much. Very. Yeah. I like the simplicity kind of of the other one. I can't get past this. <laughs> and these, like, why do we need giant gemstones everywhere? They're so different. It's hard to even compare. It's just difficult. I don't know. Fairy tale. Gothic. No matter which one you pick, somebody loses. Someone, someone's <laughs> gonna be upset and disown us. I'm really worried. It might hurt their feelings. Or it sucks to say, okay, well, even though you planned all this, we don't want yours. 
A little nerve wracking. Okay, guys, it's time to make your decision. Are you ready? There can only be one. That's right. We did make a choice. Hold it right there. Don't tell me. Tell your moms. <laughs> oh. Ashley and Andrew, what you don't know is that your moms were backstage watching and listening to all of your comments. It's a jerk thing to do. But we heard everything. I'm sure you did. Now it's time for the two of you to tell your moms who you've decided on. Okay. It's not an easy choice for us to make. It's a very tough decision. In the end, we've decided to take... Fire and ice. Yes! Yes! I won, and I'm so excited. We're sorry. We We're wish sorry. we could pick the bow. The only reason being is the pink. It is. <laughs> it's very nerve-wracking. It's OK. It's all good. It doesn't look OK. <laughs> you can okay, only Mom. pick one. It's all good. It's OK. Are you sure? Her? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> You did a beautiful job. But there had to be one winner, one assistant. Fire and Ice <laughs> took the cake. And Christine, you are to be Kim's assistant. We have a yeah. ton of planning to do. All right. All right. I'm disappointed that uh, they haven't chosen mine. But it's their day, and they deserve to have the wedding they want. I just feel like she cried. It broke my heart to do that to her. I'm the boss, and I hope Christine can pull it together and do as she's told. There could be some fighting. If these two moms don't get on the same page and don't work together well, we're never going to have a wedding. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding gown. Ashley has given full control of this over to her mother. If Kim doesn't choose wisely, Ashley's big day will be ruined. Okay. All right. You have to go to the change room, <laughs> and we're going to pick out some dresses, and we'll meet you there soon. I think that's a bad idea. Uh, Have some faith in idea. us. We've been moms a while. I'm looking for some A-line, a little bit of ruching, and lots of sparkle. Princess, Kim, we want princess. Oh, Christine, drop the princess. It's not what I envisioned her in, and that's not what we're getting. This is more what I'm looking for. Yeah, and that's all right if you're uh, out to catch another husband at your own wedding. Mm -hmm. Ashley is blindfolded. She won't get to see her dress until her wedding day. It's beautiful. No, I don't think so. What do you think, Mom? I love it. We won't let you wear anything gaudy like that. This is awful. It's disconcerting to just stand here blindfolded while someone else picks my dress. <laughs> it's too revealing. No. Yeah. No. I think so. Absolutely not. I know it's got to do with the vision and what I think Ashley wants. Definitely not. It's not quite right, but I mean, we're heading in the right direction. Mm -hmm. I find the neckline is a little bit too high. I think the neckline's fine. I think you're a little prudish. I don't think people should be spilling themselves out on their wedding dress. She wants Ashley covered from head to toe. I don't think that's what Andrew wants. And it's certainly not what Ashley wants. I'd like to see you in another one. Oh, that looks beautiful, Ashley. Still not quite the one. No, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous on her. Is it, like, just your opinion that counts? Yeah. What happened? She left. My mom is really opinionated, so I wasn't surprised that she kept just shooting down Christine's opinion. Instead of bringing out the fist, it was better to walk away. I don't care if she's mad at me. I'm the person who would really know what is good for Ashley. Christine's just going to have to suck it up. Wedding planning can't stop for squabbles. Kim insists her assistant Christine stay the course. This is your surprise. We're going to have a mini makeover. Um, no, 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 no. I oh, don't want to do on. this. Come on, it'll be fun. That's Kim's thing. She likes to get all prissied up. That's not me. I thought it'd be a really nice day. We get our makeup done, manicure, pedicure. You're going to love it. I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on you. Just look up for me. Christine, you're going to look beautiful. Hmm. Just with that little bit of glam. So I don't look like I belong on the street somewhere. No, 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 okay. no. A little bit of mascara. Lipstick. OK. It looks so much better, Christine. Do you want to take a look? No. 
Kim, this is not gonna happen. Oh, I can't, I can't go like this. It's no. beautiful. No, I'm sorry. Come on, it's, no, Christine. it's not me. Oh, come on. You look great. And I you thank you for the time. Makeup more often. I want her to get spruced up for the wedding. You know, glamorous and classy, and and she just doesn't want to be bothered. It looks beautiful. No, I'm sorry, Kim. It's hurt my feelings that you couldn't even just accept me for who I am. What Kim had done was insulting to me because I don't want to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. Oh, and no. I gotta go wash this off now, okay? That's it. Christine! No. Unbelievable. I'm getting really sick of her attitude. She should be thankful that I'm wanting her to look beautiful instead of, like, plain Jane. Kim can screw off. I'm fed up. With only days left for planning, Christine has to put aside hurt feelings for the wedding to move forward. So, Kim, what are we doing here? These guys do catering, and I just want to sample some appetizers for the wedding. Yeah. All right, ladies, to start, we have fritelle di bacala, salted cod Atlantic fritters. Mm -hmm. In addition, I have poliposcolio, which is a Mediterranean octopus. I am not touching that. It's very delicious. Is it now? Mm -hmm. Here you go. It's OK. Oh, you're not even making an attempt it here. It stinks. It smells bad. You don't know what you're missing. Oh, yeah, I do. One no. tiny no. little bite. No. We have a beautiful fritura mista aioli from the Mediterranean oh, with the uh, merluzzo. <laughs> it's sauce. looking oh, at us. <laughs> oh, there's an eyeball there. That's like a live animal on frickin' there. Like, I what is you, with man, that? He's not alive anymore. Inside here, we have a squid ink seafood risotto. Oh, my bars. God. Put the lid back on that. You're really out to kill me, eh? You are being absolutely ridiculous. I don't think I'd absolutely serve this to my ridiculous. dog, never mind anybody at a wedding. Your dog probably has more taste than you do. Yeah. How are you going to be my assistant if you can't even try any of this food? I mean, this is absolutely delicious. You didn't try anything. This food is making me nauseous. She's being a sore loser because her vision wasn't picked. Christine wouldn't even try a thing. What good is that to me? Come on, Christine. You're being a big friggin' baby. You're supposed to be my assistant. I have to keep repeating that to you. You won't try anything at all. No, it's, it's not the food that I would eat, Kim. No. You know, it was my vision, my vision that was picked. I want a nice, elegant affair with good food. She's trying to use the fancy food to impress everybody. It doesn't fool me. This is you being... Miss Prissy and all over the top. Christine, you if just you're want not, a big no, fancy no, wedding you and you're not thinking not of Andrew and Ashley help, at all. Then you might as well go. You're being totally useless to me. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Oh, go. Pisses me off. I hope Kim takes her fancy food and chokes on it or puts it where the sun don't shine because it's not coming to the wedding. She actually needs to do as I tell her to do. And I'm getting tired of wasting my breath. I think we're gonna have to give Gina a call because this is not working at all. The moms aren't speaking to each other. I have to make sure this wedding happens, even if it means Kim giving up some control. So I heard from Christine, and yes. I know that she's very unhappy. Likewise. And we have so much more to do, and to have her fall out at this point is just really, it's a travesty. Mm-hmm. Things just can't keep going on the way they're going. So let's try and give Christine two tasks that come from her vision. Oh, my. We can give her control of the first dance, a very ballroom-style prince and princess. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't go with the vision. It would help a lot. What do you think? If I have to? Yes. Doesn't mean I'm going to like it. <laughs> There's another thing. Oh, OK. <laughs> I know that you're a foodie. Mm -hmm. And the menu is quite exotic. Mm -hmm. You like quite fancy food. Yes, I do. You can have that for your entrees for the full meal. OK. Could we just put Christine in charge of the hors d'oeuvres? Like, what is she going to pick? <laughs> Hamburgers and french fries? Just a little something more basic, more traditional, that her side of the family and her friends would love. Well, we have to do something to get away from some of the tension that's going on. I would be willing to try. Why don't we bring Christine in? OK. Hi, Christine. How you doing? I'm here. Oh, good. Well, ladies, we're at a standstill. We are. It's not going to work, not the way things are going. 
Well, Christine, Kim and I have spoken. Okay. You're going to have control of two major things. Okay. These are tasks that would come directly from your vision. All right. From your princess theme wedding. <laughs> yes. The first thing you're in charge of is the first dance. A ballroom style mm, prince awesome. and princess first dance. It's gonna be beautiful. Mm. Your task, you're gonna have to teach Andrew and Ashley. Yeah. Second task, you pick the hors d'oeuvres. Oh. Hamburger and french fries. Yeah, yes. probably. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. At least she won't be bitching about everything and she has something of All right, I'll up it. Listen, listen, all up it. I'll go cheeseburgers. No. Oh, cheeseburgers. <laughs> Yay. All right, girls, moving on. Could we make this work? All I'll try. Right. I'll try. Let's go plan a wedding. Yeah. Don't get too cozy. Let's go get your dancing shoes on. Yeah. I still think this is a huge waste of time. We've got so many things to do to prepare for the wedding. Oh, just and you're relax. You're dragging me here. Just relax, and we're going to have an adventurous afternoon. <sighs> I understand that you would like to learn some dancing today uh, for the upcoming wedding. Some uh, of us do. You, some of us do. Oh, okay. <laughs> come on, come on. All right. Twinkle toes. Woo. I'm gonna just put myself between you, okay? Because okay. I, I sense that there's a little bit of uh, animosity. Uh, th yeah, that could be it. <laughs> okay. Dancing is like walking, but we're walking to the rhythm of the music. So we're gonna begin with our left foot, and we're gonna walk forward. One and two and one and two. We'll walk side together. Good. Would you like to try to lead her in that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I don't can... think that's gonna happen very easily. Now listen, Kim. You can just suck it up. Okay. Being the boss of Kim today was great. Kim got a taste of her own medicine. Slow and quick, quick. Hold it's on. to go to the side. Yes. And one more time, walk and walk and side together. And let's take our turn. Stepping on my feet. Walk, side together, walk and walk and side together. Very good. Okay, he, we're making some progress. in the shin. <laughs> it was accidentally on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I bet it was. <laughs> what can I say? And quick, quick. Again, walk. Keep it going. Whoop, careful. We're faking our turn a little bit. Yeah, there. she just okay. kind of swung me well, around. Well, we can try that one more time. <laughs> You're in a ballroom. You don't want to do barnyard dancing. You brought me. She doesn't cooperate with me, but she expects me to cooperate with her. Try that once again. We don't have time for this nonsense. Okay, ladies, so it's gonna take a little bit more practice, obviously, to get it to work, but I'm sure the kids will enjoy learning these steps that we've worked on today so that they can do a great prince and princess dance mm. at, the, mm. at the wedding. It's gonna be great. This is what I want for Andrew and Ashley. It's gonna be beautiful. The princess theme doesn't go with the fire and ice at all. Totally ridiculous. And uh, you I guys can help polish I hope she learned her instruction well enough Great. to teach right. them. Christine is supposed to teach them how to do this. She couldn't even do it with me. One last thing with the hands, you want to make sure when you turn out that you create an elegant line and a finish to everything. Ashley and Andrew, they don't know how to ballroom dance. They're not going to learn in a short period of time. And they'll just get up there and make fools of themselves. I don't think they're going to be happy about this either. I had a great time. Kim says she didn't, but I could tell by the twinkle in her eye she had a great time, too. We have to go. Christine and I have a wedding to plan. We have a lot of things to do. This was just totally ridiculous. Waste of my time. There's been a lot of fighting between the moms. I'm here to check in on Ashley and Andrew. We better not be canceling wedding number four. So you called, and I'm here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the problem? You go first. The dress is a big issue right now. Just definitely pretty concerned when we were trying them on. It was just not good. Listening to the moms argue was really hard. No. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Is it like just your opinion that counts? Yeah. And Christine stormed out, which was obviously pretty upsetting. And I know that has to be the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. So let me work on that. I don't like seeing my mother cry or get upset. Of course, no one wants her to be upset. No. The rules of the game are one wedding planner, one assistant, but I've spoken with both moms. They're trying to get along. It's gonna be all right. Hang in. Thanks, Gina. I told them that everything was gonna be okay, but in my head, I'm thinking, how am I gonna make this right? But there's still more to come. The weather is really, really bad, and we are in disaster mode. The uh, highway is completely shut down. The decorator is still not here. Nothing is going right today. They're counting on me. This is the biggest day of their lives. We need to get this whole room transformed. A snowstorm begins, and Kim battles the weather to arrive at the venue, the Churchill Ballroom.
Hi, Kim. How are you? Hi, Gina. What's going on? It doesn't look like a church in here. No, I know. And I didn't like, want you to nothing, see it. There's nothing in here. But I thought more would be done. Yes. Well, the decorator is actually on the highway stuck. Like, we're running out of time. Ladies. Hey, how are you? Oh, you finally made it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty horrendous out there. You're right behind me. Yeah, I got stuck behind a plow. Oh. It's bad out there. Oh, it is. How's the ballroom dancing coming? Oh. oh. Hmm. Not good. I haven't been able to get down to Andrew and Ashley. I'm, this is part on. of your theme. I understand, you but teach the weather, I, what dance. do you want me to do, a snowshoe? I can't snowshoe. Well, I mean, you've far. had time. No, I haven't. No, well, I, I have made work. time. It's in the program. It's printed in the program that they're going to have this dance. So I think that that's something that's very necessary. We have 15 minutes at least before the rehearsal starts. Ashley and Andrew are in the hall. Why don't we get out there and why don't we get them rehearsing and doing some sort of ballroom dancing and see if we can get something together. I'm really disappointed in you. Well, it's not the I limbo. I thought you would have had something done with this. The dance, beyond ridiculous. It's awful. Christine is trying to show Ashley and Andrew some steps now, but I mean, at this 11th hour, I don't know if that will even happen. This way to your- Oh, good. Oh, relax. Wow. Deep breath. Come on. I can breathe, Mama. I can't dance. And pivot. I don't get the pivot. You don't get the pivot. Well, I just don't wear my pivoting too. You're like, turning, so you can go in a different direction. Back your way and over. That's See? it? That's it. Well, that, is that, the, that is the lamest dance I've ever seen. And you're like wiggling. Well, I'm One. not wiggling. I'm just stepping. Well, wiggle, <laughs> wiggle. <laughs> Three steps back, three steps sideways, back step, pivot. I don't even know what you're doing. Like, there are so many steps. We have 10 okay. minutes. Well, Ashley, this isn't my fault. This is part of Christine's vision, and I just don't think we have time to do this right now. Like, there's so much going on, I can't see this happening. Hey. I think it's better that we just go practice on our own. OK, so it's three steps. Or do you, we'll just do whatever you learned. I don't even All right, care. All right, so this is, what I, this is what I was showing. You go back. You go back. Oh, like what are you and doing then to me I here? I come back, and then we go like that, and then and I that... spin you. We learned two completely different dances. That's what dances. I thought I heard going on. We don't know what we're doing. No, you, you got shown a different dance than I got shown. Like this is. Well, just pick a dance. We'll pick which Mosh dance pit. you like. Sweet. While the bride and groom to be keep practicing, Gina leads the wedding rehearsal. Tomorrow you'll be holding your bouquets, of course. So. That's perfect. Straight down the aisle. Ashley and Andrew will be right in the center then. And Michael will escort Ashley. That gives us plenty of room. Blink arms after the bride and groom come down. And straight out. You got it. Good job, guys. Ashley and Andrew join their guests at the rehearsal party. I'd like to thank everybody for coming tonight. And hopefully the weather clears up so we'll have a bunch of people here tomorrow. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Gina gets a call. The news is not good. Ashley, I'm so sorry I had to pull you aside. We just got a call from Nikki, your bridesmaid. Mm -hmm. Her flight was canceled. And it doesn't look like she's going to be able to make it tomorrow. What? I can't believe she's going to miss the entire ceremony and everything. It doesn't look good. <sighs> Hopefully this is the worst of it and everybody else will make it, all right? I hope so. Okay. All right, Thanks, Gina. go ahead. Go back and enjoy yourself, all right? Ashley's really stressed. I wanted this day to be perfect for her. Absolutely perfect. I don't know if it's going to happen. The night before the wedding, uh, the snowstorm, I'm a little worried that some of my, our friends and family won't be able to make it. We already me. lost a bridesmaid, so. I'm hoping that a lot of people can make it because it's kind of scary out there. It's supposed to be the happiest day of our lives, but it's turning out to be a giant pile of poo. Even if I pull this together, I don't know if everyone is even going to be able to come. The decorators finally arrive, but now there's only hours to get everything done. I just don't know how we're going to pull this off. How many of these do we have? Uh, one. OK, one down. 10 more to go. We need to get this whole room transformed. I just don't know how we're going to pull this off. I'm worried. Ashley's with her mother getting ready. She will finally get to see her wedding dress. Ashley, you ready to see your dress? Yes. <laughs> OK, keep your eyes closed. One, two, three.
Oh my god. Do you like it? It's do you awesome. love it? I actually do love it. You did a good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm impressed. It's what you wanted. It's yes. A9. It is satin. Yeah. All the beadwork, look at it on the sides. Oh wow. It goes it down, is. it's all gathered. That's beautiful. And then we have some on this side here. Look. Down here with oh, the gathering. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Isn't that beautiful? That is really nice. Thanks. You look so gorgeous. <laughs> so excited. This is my favorite spot. Yeah, I think that's really the cute. Half bow it's just with a all fun little. Yeah, it's a really fun detail. I think you did an awesome job. I'm actually a little surprised. <laughs> I'm excited to see the bouquet. That's gorgeous. It goes with the theme. That's really awesome. I love it. It's girly, but it's cool. Like, it's a good kind of, it's not like frou-frou. It's just really interesting. And I love the flowers in it. That's gorgeous. We have a little special edition mm -hmm. added. And to memorialize my brother Adam. So Adam can be with you today, too. Hmm, don't be sad. And this way, he can walk down the aisle with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You okay? Mm -hmm. Do you love it? I love it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna go get you married. <laughs> the snow has not let up. The wedding starts in five minutes, but none of the guests are here. Hi, Gina. Hey. This is amazing. I have a surprise for you. Oh, do you? Your ice sculpture. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I can't believe you pulled it uh, off. It just got here. I just hope the guests arrive to see all this because it's absolutely spectacular. I'm going to get changed, finish a few things. I'll see Thanks you in a few. Thanks so much. It's I'm, still storming. I know. Or... I'm really getting worried. Yeah. The plows have cleared the roads, and guests finally start to show, an hour late. Good news, girls. Hey. The guests are here. Oh, thank uh, you. That's great. Yeah, you grab that's Ashley. Great. You grab Andrew. I'll grab the minister. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Perfect. Right. Let's Thanks. get married. We, as a community of family and friends, are gathered here to witness the marriage of Andrew and Ashley and to celebrate this day with them. Andrew, will you have Ashley to be your wife? I do. Ashley, will you have Andrew to be your husband? I will. Ashley Penrose, you're the only one that truly knows me, and I vow to always be faithful and respectful to you. I will always love and cherish you. I am so honored that you are going to be my wife, that we are going to grow old together. Andrew, you're sweet, loving, funny, and a great dad. You're my best friend and proof that first impressions are not to be trusted. You've brought out the best in me as a mother, a friend, and as a person. <laughs> I vow to love you and never take your love for granted and to continue facing life by your side, whatever gets thrown our way, for as long as we both shall live. With every thought in my mind, with every breath in my lungs, with every beat of my heart, I'm yours. I love you. you just show me up. <laughs> I declare them now to be husband and wife. If you two would like to kiss each other for the first time, you may. <laughs> They look beautiful, they live together. With the ceremony done, the guests mingle at the cocktail reception. I can't believe we're finally married. Trick. <laughs> Forever. I just want to take these damn shoes off, but I love them so much. <laughs> Featuring Christine's choice of appetizers. Oh my kids are here. You're going you don't to really two want hands. Hands. I do. Oh. Look, I'll even have one with you. One bite. One. Go. <laughs> they're great. I have to admit, they're not too bad. <laughs> oh. 
we're gonna wing this. That's right. We want to thank the moms for putting in so much hard work, saving us a lot of time, a lot of effort, that time we didn't really have with the and baby work and everything. I didn't want to do. That's exactly. <laughs> I don't think this could have happened without both of you, so we really appreciate it and we love you both. We love you too. <laughs> Some ballroom dancing. That we don't know how to do. That they don't know how to do. And we're going to cheer them on the whole way while they have fun. The newlyweds try out the newly learned foxtrot for their first dance. We don't know what we're doing. How about if we just go like this? Oh. <laughs> I'm stepping dress. all over your dress. Didn't get a lot of time to practice with them, but. Even if they have two left feet, it's beautiful. I'm no Broadway dancer, but they, we tried our best. It probably wasn't very good, <laughs> but we don't care. <laughs> it wasn't the best dance of a foxtrot. That was terrible. <laughs> Andrew and Ashley were gorgeous no matter what they did with their feet, so it was great. And we all had fun. And we all had yeah. fun. First fire and ice wedding. I think it went really well. Ashley and Andrew seemed thrilled with everything. We had an amazing wedding, for sure. It was awesome. Amazing. When I first saw Ashley walking up the aisle, I was shocked. It was just so beautiful. <laughs> You're cute. I was happy with the picture of my brother on the bouquet. I felt like it was a tasteful way of memorializing him without making it overshadow the rest of the day. Earlier, we were pretty worried because there weren't really any guests here. Oh, I was concerned about people not showing up and the weather and everything. I probably would have cried. Then everybody just started showing up. It was great. The flowers and the decor came in the 11th hour, so that was super, super stressful. I didn't think Gina was going to be able to pull it off. Last night there was nothing, and this morning it was spectacular. You couldn't ask for anything better. Gina did a beautiful job. Yeah, and it was exactly what I dreamed about. When I first saw the decor, I thought it was amazing. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful and really sparkly and gorgeous, but not super traditional. I was extremely happy that the twigs weren't extremely large, and my friends haven't sword fighted with them yet. The ice sculpture came at the very last minute. I thought it was glass. No, this is the theme, Andrew, the fire and ice. Fire, ice. Yeah. The dinner was delicious. I was excited. The guests seemed to really enjoy it. It really turned out to be a beautiful day. <laughs> Christine actually went and got her hair done and got her makeup done. Oh, she looked beautiful. Everything's great. Kim and I made up. We're doing good now. We're doing excellent. About time. <laughs> the moms did an amazing job. I'm so I'm happy. Impressed. It all came together, so. And you're married. This is the greatest day we could have ever asked for. Mm -hmm. All in all, a great success. We had a great time. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> That's really good. The fun part begins. <laughs> <laughs> oh.